Hey guys, Kev here, and I am on vacation. I'm in uh, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, and uh, we're here with the whole family. My brother's here with his family, and um, my sister-in-law and her sister's here with her family, and my parents are here. So we have a bunch of kids uh, having a blast. We've been just playing board games and shit. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what I brought EDC wise. So I brought three knives and I brought a flashlight. So I brought, I brought my uh, Dawson Machine Craft Malini Slim in titanium with uh, acid washed or working finish, I guess, accents. I love this thing. It's my favorite flashlight. It's very bright, has good throw, but it's also really good in a close situation like when i read to my kid and stuff like that and then i brought um a, i brought a little case with three extra batteries i probably won't even need one of them but just in case i have backups usually i use it at night for i don't know 20 minutes reading to the kiddo maybe a half hour and then here and there just looking for stuff or whatever. Um, so I would venture to guess that battery is gonna last the whole trip, but we'll see. Um, I brought two locking knives and a slip joint. So I only brought three knives. Uh, I was trying to be, you know, minimal. Um, I brought knives I really like to carry. So this is the uh, GOM, the God of Mischief from Renegade Provisions Co. And this has a newly reground blade on it. This is from Satu Dave, my boy Dave. Um, I have a video coming where I went over this knife and another knife that I recently got that was modded. But he basically made it a two-tone finish and did a belt satin hollow grind on it. And, I mean, you can see, hopefully you can see how thin it is now. It's real nice, Clark. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like twice as thin as it was before. Great action. Great reverse flick on this knife. Closing action and a real nice front flipper tab. Chris killed it on this design. And you can get this with a milled clip as well. I know he has some left. I think he's going to get them uh, modded or laser them or something and then sell them. So if you're interested... Definitely uh, check it out. I don't know if they're available at any dealers as well. Then, of course, I brought the Stout B2. And um, this is the Purple Haze left-handed version with belt satin. And this is in Vanek Super Clean. The reason I brought this was I'm um, at the beach. So I figure I want something that's rust-proof, essentially. The only things on this knife that could rust are the steel insert, which I have... I have replacements of if I needed it. I seriously doubt the steel insert is going to rust unless I take it in the water and then don't clean it, you know. Um, I could just clean it out when I get home. It'll probably be fine. And then the, the steel washers are in there as well. Um, and those technically could rust, but there's bearings on top of them. There's lube. That's what she said on top of them. So, Again, I doubt it, but those two things could rust, and that's about it on the knife. Um, not 100% positive that the barrels in here are titanium. Uh, they probably might be steel. I think this one's titanium, but um, yeah. Anyway, Vanek Super Clean. Love this knife. And we have more of these coming, actually. Um, there's going to be three new versions, and they're all traditional pocketknives.com exclusives. We have one with 80s uh, camo carbon, and that has orange aluminum pivot collars to match the orange in the 80s. Um, and then it's bead blasted like this, and it has this uh, belt satin. And then we have one that's watermelon sugar. So it's green, neon green and neon pink uh, camo carbon. And we did a pink aluminum collar on that. Those two look really good. And that one's blacked out. So it's DLC on the bolsters and everything. Um, and that also has a belt satin. And they're still Vanex. And then there's a Dark Matter Glow version that is all blacked out. So those should be fun. Those are coming sometime in the summer or fall. 
And then the last one I brought is a Jack Wolf knife, of course. I brought my Little Bro. So I have this really nice slip from Northwoods Leatherworks Co. And I have my Little Bro Jack in Flow Party Camo Carbon. And I love this Camo Carbon because it takes all the colors I love out of the 80s and puts them together. And it kind of gets rid of the colors I don't love, like the green and the blue. Um, I love 80s though, but this I really like too. Supreme walk and talk on this knife. And I just figured it'd be nice to have a little gentlemanly slip joint if we go out to dinner or, you know, whatever. Just to carry. I love it. This is an S90B steel, and uh, this is probably top two of my Jack Wolf collection. This one and the Feel Good Jack probably are one and two. I might take the Feel Good number one just because of the blade shape, but this one is right there with the walk and talk. The Ergos, I like the smaller sized ones. So that's what I brought on the trip. And uh, yeah, just want to show you guys, say what up. And I uh, hope you guys are having a great weekend, great week. And um, yeah, I'm going to see you guys around. One other thing I brought were obviously sunglasses. And I bought, um, I actually bought Oakley's a couple days ago to bring on the trip. And they literally broke right before we left. I was literally getting in the truck and I went to put them on and this arm just came right off and a little piece of plastic fell down. And I was like, okay, I guess Oakley's are not made very well anymore. They were like 120 bucks on Amazon. So I'm, I'm gonna try to find some new glasses here at the beach. Maybe, maybe they weren't real, I don't know, but they seem like it. Um, but anyway, I got these Oakley, I got this cord because I have to get new glasses all the time because I drop them. I put them up on my head like this and then, you know, I have a kid, whatever, they get knocked off and then I step on them or they get knocked off and they hit the ground and crack or scratch or chip. And I've probably gone through six pairs of sunglasses this year. <laughs> so I finally was like, I need something to keep them on. And th this worked really well, actually. Um, but yeah, these were supposed to be on the Oakleys, so that was kind of annoying, but I always have backups. These are Shady Rays. I do like their glasses. I just kept breaking them, so I was like, maybe I'll try something new. So we'll see. But anyway, that's it. I love you guys. Um, I might check in again later this week. We'll see. Um, and potentially do the live stream from my, uh, my little room here. We have a huge house. It's freaking amazing. Um, I need a beach house. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Have a great day. Peace.